Hello again, everyone. I'm here with another swatching of another palette for my little index for the different palettes that I have made sitting around. This is actually a pre-made palette that I never swatched on the channel, so I figured this would be a chance to do that now. And I'm actually going, because it's a smaller palette, I'm going to go ahead and set this up um, so that you can see exactly how I made this. So I have this little uh, circle stamp here and uh, the details of how why I'm doing this and and sort of the beginnings of this process I'm going to link down below to the first video where I talked about these little swatches so you know um, how I made the the watercolor card and all that kind of stuff so I'm going to link you to that video below and you'll be able to see the details there but for today I'm just going to go ahead and get in and start um, creating this little palette here so these are the colors that we have in here. I've actually never swatched it on the little thing here, but this is Paint Crush. That's the brand by Christy Rice of this particular palette. And I think she has made no other palette other than this one. Uh, I kinda, you know, I don't think it's like a true artist watercolor quality palette, but it's it's not bad either. So it's, but but it's certainly not along the lines of like Daniel Smith or something but it's perfectly passable. I also think because some of these have neon pigments in them, your uh, light fastness is going to vary and perhaps not be light fast at all. <laughs> I, I cannot vouch for the light fastness and there's really no information in the little booklet that came with this about light fastness. I think these would probably be really good to use in a sketchbook. Okay, so while I'm gonna be doing other things, I'm gonna put some water on here so that they can go ahead and loosen up. Oh, my water's a little dirty, but it's okay. It'll work out. And while those are sitting, getting nice and juicy, I will go ahead and stamp my card up. I'm not gonna do all of the labeling, like I'm not gonna do all of the colors on the back of the card um, because I've been listing the colors on the back of the card, but I'm not gonna do that today just for the sake of time. Uh, and then I have this Shachi Hata oil-based permanent black ink pad, which I'm gonna be using for the stamp. It's a great ink pad. I, I, once I started using it regularly, it's like the only stamp pad I will use. Okay, so let's make, I'm gonna count to make sure how many colors I have. I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Okay, so I've done 12 palettes before. I'm actually just gonna do three on each row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna tap off this leftover ink onto a paper towel so that it's not sitting on there. Oh, and I, this is just a cling mount stamp that's on a little block here. So that's that's what that setup is there. I'm gonna close the stamp pad. Don't wanna accidentally put my hand in that. And uh, yeah, so that <laughs> that's pretty quick and easy for that. Um, and I've been able to get uh, maximum five of these circles in a row here. But I, tr I try to make it, you know, look kind of aesthetically pleasing on the, um, on the swatch card. So I'm gonna go ahead and number these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna put numbers on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. And then next to each number back here, I will put the names of the paints. It might not actually be too time consuming, but I'm gonna do that after the video so that you don't have to watch me do that. And then what I will also do is put the title of this palette. So is, does this have a title in the, no. I think there was a name that this palette had, but what I'll just do is put Paint Crush Palette here. And the oil will sometimes um, push away the watercolor, so that might happen a little bit here and there. 
but for the most part, it works pretty well. All right, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so that you can get a closer look there. Actually, I'm gonna swap these so that that's there. And this is just a Palomino Black Bang pencil that I'm using to label these things. And let's go ahead and get in here. Oh, wait, let me put my little color swatch sheet. And actually, I think that I should turn this the other way around because I think that I wanna go from here to here. Okay, so the first one here is called Fearless. And I can definitely tell that this has a neon pigment in it. I mean, or fluorescent pigment. I mean, that is super, super bright never comes off as brightly on the camera as it does in real life. And again, I will put these closer up to the camera so you can see them a little better at the end. This next color, which is sort of like a taupey color, is called Calm. Yeah, you can see there that the oil of the stamp is pushing the watercolor away just a little bit. Then we have a pink color called Sweet. And like I was saying, I really do think that these would be pretty good for um, watercolor sketching in a sketchbook, but not necessarily for professional paintings. Okay, this one, this red one is called Fierce. And then we have a really nice reddish brown called Delve. And that one seems to be pushing the water away pretty seriously there. This last one, which is sort of a tealy color, is called Tend, as in I'm tending to myself. This actually looks more a little bit like a phthalo green, but it is a little bit tealy. And then we have sort of a gold or a green gold color called Thrive. I think this was one of the colors that I saw that made me want this palette because that was such a pretty color. And this other green color is actually pretty nice too. So this is a green called Growth. So this is also a kind of a yellow leaning green, super pretty. And the next one we have sort of a orangish pink called Blossom. I probably call that more of a peach color, perhaps. What I also like about these stamps is because there's two lines around. If you go outside the first line, but make sure you stay in the second line, it actually looks more intentional <laughs> than if you just kind of went outside the lines. All right, and then we have a bit of a magenta color called Passion. And again, I'm pretty sure this has some fluorescent pigments in it. And we have a purple called Punchy, which again, I'm guessing there's probably some fluorescence in here. And the last one is a blue color called Flow. Oh, it looks like I had a little bit of paper there that got stuck in that color. I think I got it out. All right, but yeah, so with palettes like this, I think they're, I mean, it's it's a really nicely put together palette. Um, I, I think I could probably do without the super fluorescent colors. I, you know, I'm okay with fluorescent watercolors, but they're not all that practical beyond sketchbooking um, or sketching, watercolor sketching. So they, they're not that versatile as, as to whether you, you know, if you wanted to use them in a, in a big painting or something, they wouldn't really be practical for that because they're really not light fast. So I probably could do without the fluorescence. And this green is just a little too generic for me. And this blue as well is a little too generic for me. <laughs> uh, because all the other colors, I feel like, have their own little spin to them. Um, so I would say two, three... <laughs> Five, seven, eight, nine. Those are my favorites. All the others are just okay. Uh, that's part of the reason why I didn't uh, swatch this when I got this palette. Is first off, I think I was sick at the time, so so there was that. And and then it was just like, well, you know, these paints aren't aren't that great. <laughs> I know it sounds terrible, but but I don't want to dissuade you because they're they're actually really beautiful colors. And if these are the kind of colors you're looking for, this is a great curated palette. And I would say 
pretty much use them on works that are going to be out of the sunlight uh, because I'm pretty sure, pretty positive that these two have fluorescent pigments in it, but I'm really unsure about the light fastness of the rest of them. So just to be on the safe side, probably do things in a sketchbook or something that's not going to, not going to see the light of day. I was going to say, but that, that sounds terrible. All right. Well, there, there we go. Um, and I'm not, I got my palette on Amazon, I believe. Uh, if I'll take a look and if they're still in stock on Amazon, I will link it below. Otherwise I'll see if I can find them somewhere so that you know how to get it if you're interested in this palette. All right. Well, that's all I had for you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.